Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Snow and I'm going to be talking about intercepting proxies. Uh, let me start off with a metaphor because I think it's the best way to explain things to people. So right here we got two people who are dressed really funny and they're playing with some brown object. I don't know what that is, but okay. So anyway, the intercepting proxy is kind of like this guy right here who's trying to intercept the ball. I think it's the safety. I'm like 90% sure, so we'll go with that. So the quarterback is kind of like a request going to a server from a client. And the intercepting proxy takes the football. Maybe he gets it. He's like, oh, man, let me inspect it. Maybe he'll give it to the, the wide receiver. I don't know. Or maybe he'll just he'll pop it. Be like, I don't like this football. He'll ch I'll change it up. And then I'll hand it off. Who knows? That's my metaphor. <laughs> So what an intercepted proxy is besides a metaphor. <laughs> so it captures HTTP or even HTTPS if you set it up right uh, before like, uh, like a request goes to a server or b before a response gets back to a client. Uh, you can choose to modify things or just inspect. But overall, like the purpose is to kind of map out a web application. You see how uh, maybe the behavior like on a client may uh, like translate to the server. You'll see how the server takes you know, whatever data it got and be like, OK, you know, let me do this and this and send this back. It's, yeah, there's, there's a lot to it. You know? There's a lot you could look at. Uh, you can also modify the headers uh, and content. But the, the key thing, the key takeaway is that if you have client-side client validation, this intercepting proxy will take that data after the fact and you can change it. So you, gotta, you also have to integrate server-side validation because you can't trust what comes from the client. Uh, yeah, and it's used to, to map an application from front to back. Uh, benefits or harmful effects. Uh, you can test various attack avenues. Uh, there was a, one site that uh, my best friend used to go on. And it was uh, like a steampunk thing. She was a model. I promise it's my best friend, not me. And uh, we were kind of getting into the cybersecurity thing, and I wanted to like see what I could figure out by like inspecting the application. And I found things like uh, like tokens and hidden input tags that probably were cookies to represent like who the user was. And I'm thinking, you know, like why is this on the client? Like what what could I do? You know, what if I change this and send it back? What would happen? Uh, yeah, so yeah, you can modify hidden input fields with the intercepted proxies as well as URL parameters and cookies. Blah. So Hyperfox is a tool that's uh, really efficient at this. Um, it's built using Go. And the basic concept is uh, uh, this is also for like an internal network. Like let's say you know, you're at home. Maybe you have like an apartment with people you don't know. Uh, but you're logged into the router. and Let's say you know you have Hyperfox you know on your computer, you can actually uh, it's you you ARP spoof the uh, the like the person you're trying to target, and ARP spoofing basically changes uh, the default gateway on the computer. So like when they send traffic to the router, it's actually rerouted to your computer, and, to, and then you know the data goes through Hyperfox, and then you could send it out. Uh, you can also set up a like a fake SSL uh, certificate on on with Hyperfox to make it look like they're connected to the legitimate like website, and then you you connect you know your SSL side to the the server, and you basically have like decrypted HTTPS at that point, so you can modify you know secure would would be secure comms. Uh, this is just like one implementation of it when it comes to web applications. Um, uh, Hyperfox is still, yeah, it's still really good, but it only works in the internal network. <coughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, for this demo, uh, I need volunteers. <laughs> I'm just going to steal all your credit card information. Now we got one. Right. I'm just kidding. There's no way I'm going to do that. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I have a, a proxy set up. Oh, shoot. 
So I'm going to run it. All this is, it's, it's just a, like a node program that uh, starts a proxy server on port 8081. And then on my, uh, uh, on the web browser, I actually have a, a manual proxy set up to, uh, I'm sorry, to port 8081. It's already set up. And so when you navigate to a site, all the traffic, and I'm only sniffing the request traffic, will actually get routed into the program here. And I have it so that uh, anything that has a request body, which is like, uh, like any post request essentially, are like colored uh, with this like terrifying, ugly, hideous color right here. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So yeah, so you, you can see like what goes through. Like if we look at here, uh, what's highlighted, uh, the URL here, it says uh, api.amplitude.com. It's a post request. And you see weird things like, you know, long uh, looks like a hex value. Probably some kind of like cookie, some way to identify you. I'm not quite sure. Uh, you have uh, what looks like the information of my browser. Um, yeah, and you see all kinds of different values as well as the OS. And, you know, like, who knows? You know, what if you play around with that and maybe something interesting happens? Who knows? Yeah, there's all kinds of different uh, avenues to inspect. And this is just the request sniffer. You know, there's also responses that come back from the server. You know, perhaps there's uh, they send, you know, like, oh, if you log in somewhere, you're a user, and they give you, like, an is admin property, and it's false. If you change that to true, you know, will you have display available to you that shouldn't be? And yeah, that's, uh, that's basically the gist. Validate everything. Ugh. All right, let me get back to this slideshow real quick. Okay. And yeah, there's my sources. Uh, Hyperfox is available on GitHub for download. Uh, I get, it'd be fun to play around with, you know. Why not give it a go? Um, yeah, some other security sites. And that's about it. Thank you, everybody.